Hi, this is Miss Sorelli, and I will be reading a story today for our Far Hills Country Day School story time. It's one of my all-time favorite frog and toad stories. It's called A Lost Button, written and illustrated by Arnold LaBelle, and read to you with permission from Harper and Rowe. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. A Lost Button. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. They walked across a large meadow. They walked in the woods. They walked along the river. At last, they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, drat, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Don't worry, said Frog. We will go back to all of the places where we walked. We will soon find your button. They walked back to the large meadow. They began to look for the button in the tall grass. Here's your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, said Toad. That button is black. My button is white. Toad put the black button in his pocket. A sparrow flew down. Excuse me, said the sparrow. Do you, do you lose a button? I found one. That is not my button, said Toad. That button has two holes. My button had four holes. Toad put the button with two holes in his pocket. They went back to the woods and looked on the dark paths. Here's your button, said Frog. That is not my button, cried Toad. That button is small. My button was big. Toad put the small button in his pocket. A raccoon came out from behind a tree. I heard that you were looking for a button, he said. Here is the one that I just found. That is not my button, wailed Toad. That button is square. My button was round. Toad put the square button in his pocket. Frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thin. My button was thick. Toad put the thin button in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed. The whole world is covered with buttons and not one of them is mine. Toad ran home and slammed the door. There on the floor, he saw his white, four-holed, big, round, thick button. Oh, said Toad, it was here the whole time. What a lot of trouble I've made for Frog. Toad took all of the buttons out of his pocket. He took his sewing box down from the shelf. Toad sewed the buttons all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Frog thought it was beautiful. He put it on and he jumped up and down for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sewed them on very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope that you have a great rest of your summer and I hope that you do not lose any buttons, but if you do, I'm sure you'll find them. Take care, stay well, and I hope to see you all very soon.